Hey, what's going on guys? So today we are gonna finish the transmission mount, get it all fabbed up, mocked up, in the car. I'm excited. So let, let's just get into it. So I ordered this, the transmission cross member. This is actually for an automatic transmission, uh, but we were gonna cut it up and modify it anyway. So I figured it'd work for us. Uh, I did get this transmission mount. Uh, this is for basically all GM manual transmissions, so it's polyurethane. So that lines up, the bolt holes line up and everything, and check that. Some miscellaneous hardware and this piece of 3 16 by 3 inch plate steel. So worst case scenario, what we'll have to do is just bend this up where we can bolt it to the sides of the transmission tunnel and then we will just bolt this mount to it. This is actually where the transmission mount is going to bolt up. Uh, so what we're going to have to do if we want to make this work is we're going to have to notch out this inside and then reinforce it on the back side and extend a plate out and then bolt that transmission mount right there. So we've got this marked. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cut out this inside rib and try and make this fit so we can get both of these bolts in here. So then we can eyeball, you know, what we're going to have to do to make this transmission mount work. probably gonna have to trim this a little bit more um, we're actually gonna have to take some of this bottom portion out because it's still hitting so we'll go ahead and mark that I went ahead and bolted in the transmission mount and it actually happened to be the same bolts that we used to mate the engine to the transmission so I'll get two of those guys um, after we get all this mocked up um, this is fitting in here nicely so we'll go ahead and tighten this down and then take a measurement uh, for the plate that we're gonna have to cut and weld to this so we can get these bolts in. We're gonna go ahead and cut this down to four and a half inches. Okay, we marked where we wanted the plate to go while it was bolted in the car. So now we're gonna go ahead and weld this up. fitting everything I went ahead and scrubbed off all of this paint around all the surfaces that we're gonna weld so we'll get this one all finished up and we'll get it bolted back in the car <laughs> Thank you. 
we got this plate marked we're gonna go ahead and drill two outside holes and then we're probably gonna notch out this center part just so we have some flexibility when we bolt this thing in Okay, we're gonna go ahead and notch out that center part now. All right, so we got this bolted in here, um, and this bolt, Focus. that bolt's not lining up that bolt we got in um, and we're definitely gonna have to run some spacers in between that plate right there to take up that gap uh, but that's okay because it'll give us a little bit of angle that we can change just in case uh, the drive shaft isn't happy uh, with the rear end and everything so we'll go ahead and grind out a little bit more on this back side and get some spacers in here and get it all bolted in. I'm going to go ahead and let the floor jack down and hopefully this thing doesn't move too much. Oh, it looks like it's going to fail. Oh, okay, but it did move quite a bit. So we're definitely going to have to reinforce uh, this on both sides. Okay, so now that everything fits and this technically does hold the weight, uh, we're just going to go ahead and box everything in and add some gussets uh, just to give this some um, structural rigidity. This is what we cut out uh, from the top side to give us the clearance around the transmission. Um, I think what I'm going to actually do is take and clean this thing up and weld it to the bottom side. Uh, so it'll give strength, you know, this way. Oh yeah, look at that healthy tack. And that one. Alright, we just test fit everything. Everything fits well, so we're gonna go ahead and burn this in. We are marking up the saw blade. Uh, I should just leave it like that. That thing looks ridiculous. <laughs> but I can only imagine working on the car and having these guys on there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and mark this and cut out this saw blade so we can go ahead and box in this back portion. Now that we got this fitting in there pretty snugly, what I'm probably going to do is weld up all the way around and then uh, we'll probably hammer this down a little bit so we can get a good clean weld on there. Alright, this one got a little bit more complicated uh, just because I had to weld in this piece of metal right here uh, to keep all this square. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get this side welded up.
All right, guys, I got a, a little carried away. So I was going to add a gusset, and <laughs> that just seemed very suiting because this thing is already looking like a piece of art, kind of like a spaceship you'd see on Star Wars or something. So that's <laughs> that should be sufficient. Um, we're going to go ahead and bolt this thing up and get it back in the car. After I started editing the video, um, basically I just you know started thinking about everything and why everything was flexing even after we boxed everything in. This transmission mount was designed to carry all the weight in the center right here. Uh, so there's rubber bushings in between here, if you can kind of see them. So what was happening since we moved the mounting point from here out here this is acting as a lever so basically it's flexing down uh, because these are actually moving so you can actually move these with your hand uh, and these are these were designed to uh, insulate uh, the vibrations from the engine and transmission which were resting here uh, from the chassis so it was supposed to insulate you know all those vibrations and everything um, but for our case, since we have it out here, it's wanting to flex down like that every time we put weight on it uh, because these flex down uh, and it crushes that, you know, that rubber. So what I'm going to do, and I was going to try uh, to, you know, sink these down into, into there, like inside this cylinder right here and weld it in that way so I could still get this bushing on there because it's got that little nipple on it so I wanted to you know countersink those washers uh, down in there but I think it's just gonna be too much work so what we're gonna do instead is and we had to modify these washers a little bit what I think I'm gonna do is just weld these guys on there so theoretically this is going to keep you know that solid uh, and keep it from flexing if I put it on both sides and get it all welded up all the way around. So I'm still going to use these little bushings, uh, but I'm going to cut off this inside lip. Uh, so these will still go on there flush, uh, and then we'll get it all bolted in the car, and hopefully it won't sag anymore because uh, it was it was leaning down pretty bad as you could see from the video. So that's what we're going to do. try this again now that we've got these all welded up solid uh, this should not flex anymore if it does I don't I don't even know oh yeah didn't move at all so I'm gonna go check the 
engine and transmission angle now and make sure that we're still at two degrees. Hot dog. So we are sitting at two degrees. Uh, the motor mounts are in. That transmission mount is solid now. Uh, it definitely was failing because of those bushings. Uh, so after we welded those washers in, you know, it basically made it a rigid mount point on both sides. Uh, so that thing's not flexing or moving at all. So I'm super excited to see all this under its own weight. And we definitely have enough ground clearance. Uh, the oil pan is pretty much flush with the cross member. Uh, it hangs just, just slightly below it. Uh, but that should be fine so now all we have to do is pretty much puzzle piece everything else in here uh, so this header is going to be a nightmare but we'll we'll get it figured out and then the only other thing i'm really worried about is uh, the starter so the starter bolts in right there i'm not sure if we're going to have enough room in between uh, the bell housing and this plate right here so we might have to get a little custom shorty starter, but I'm super excited guys. I, I hope y'all are enjoying this build as much as I am and we'll see y'all next time. Peace.